Last thing before um, I do the before I do the uh, hair is the neck, which is not too difficult really. You're just basically making the edges darker, and it's going to get lighter as it goes towards the esophagus. You're going to extend this past the shoulders a little bit. So, in general, the whole neck is going to be a little bit dark. You're going to shade it in gray, a light gray, because you really want the highlights on the chin um, to stand out. Okay, just soften the edge of that to make the neck look rounded. And then as you come towards the esophagus, okay, again, this will all be very light gray, which is kind of being messy to start here just so I can get this done. Quickly get some gray down here, but again, I go in multiple directions to kind of blend in my pencil strokes. And the tops of the shoulders, too, it's going to be the kind of the same thing. And your shoulders don't, you know, they can just kind of fade out. And I stopped mine before they even went off the paper. And then I'm just going to do a dark edge. Just fade that as it comes down. Just kind of randomly sort of fade it out so it fades off into as it's kind of disappearing into the background so to speak okay i would probably blend that a little bit more and then this comes down and it's gonna go into that a little bit and sort of fade out but like i said as you go this way then you're gonna the esophagus just a few extra little strokes right here not too much fading it out kind of lifting with your pencil as you go down. Maybe do a couple of little diagonal marks like this. And I'm not too worried about you, you know, creating the Adam's apple or anything like that. His is, a, there's more of a shadow underneath his neck. I didn't realize that. His has quite a bit, quite a bit more shadow. So you may end up kind of, this is your good chance to go and really clean up your edge here too. Is go along and kind of outline that. And then take that and just kind of blur it. chin it really helps to give that sense of light like the chin is casting that shadow on the neck like that darken that a little bit again the shadow you do the same thing underneath here and then just kind of have this fade as it goes down the angle notice of the esophagus it kind of angles inward like that slightly Okay, just again, make sure you have a soft edge. Get that shadow underneath. Carefully outline the chin. Fade that out as you come down. And then this line here, you know, you're going to reinforce that a little bit, a few extra strokes, blur it a little bit, and then it's just going to kind of fade out um, as you go down. Something like that. Okay.